Moving to Michigan and wondering if the suburb of Novi, Michigan is the right place for you to live? Well, you're about to find out what this Detroit suburb is all about. We're breaking down the pros, the cons, and everything in between, like the meat of the sandwich. Sandwich. All right, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I make videos about all sorts of cities and areas all over Metro Detroit, Michigan. So if you like that sort of thing, you know what to do. And if you would like to move in the next three days or three months, reach out because I'm also a full-time real estate agent and I've helped hundreds of people buy and sell homes all over Metro Detroit, Michigan. So I can help you too. If you watch this entire video and you live near or around Novi, Michigan, and you think of something that I forgot, let me know in the comments below because I love to hear about stuff like that. And stick around to the very end of this video because there's some stuff about the Novi School District that I think that you might want to know, especially if you're not from the area. All right, so the first thing on our list is the location of Novi, Michigan. Now the location is actually a pro. You know what they say, location, location, location. And Novi is in the perfect location. It's close to just about anything. You've got access to a bunch of different freeways, including I-96, I-696, I-275, and M5. So you can just jump on any one of those and go sort of wherever you need to go. If you wanna to head to downtown Detroit, it's only about 28 minutes away, so not too far. DTW Airport, about 37 minutes away. And if you wanna to head to Ann Arbor, it's about 31 minutes away. So it's kind of in the center of everything. Next up is the size of Novi. This would be a con to a lot of people. Novi, Michigan is big, really big. If you're looking for that small town vibe where like everybody knows your name, that's not gonna be it in Novi. Novi is the 18th largest city in the state of Michigan with a land mass of over 31 square miles. 31! They have a population of over 66,000 people to live there too, so. It's big and it has a lot of people living there. Next up on our list is the desirability of living in this area. And Novi definitely gets a pro. Novi is not some trendy city that just all of a sudden popped onto the map and everybody's moving there. Novi has been one of the fastest growing cities in Metro Detroit for a very long time and it continues to be that way. So if you wanna buy here, there's a good chance that you'll be able to sell for much more than when you purchased before because the prices just keep going up because people wanna live here. It's desirable. This is the place. Novi actually saw a full 20% increase in the population there from 2010 to today, which is huge. It's really big for any city. Next up is the home prices in Novi, Michigan. So this would actually be a con. Because the city is so desirable, it has all the things and is close to everything, what do you think that brings with it? I don't even want to know. High prices. Of course it brings high prices. If everyone wants to be there, then uh, it's not going to be cheap to live there. You heard about prices in New York? California? Crazy. Bananas. Novi's not like that extreme, but I'm just saying. People want to live there, so the prices go high. Today, the average price of a home in Novi is $394,000, so nearly $400,000 is the average. But truthfully, that's not what it really pans out to be. Right now, the cheapest home in the city of Novi is $359,000. That's the cheapest on the market. And the most expensive home on the market is $2.5 three million dollars so it's a wide range there most of the homes in novi range from about five hundred thousand to eight hundred thousand so that's usually the budget of my buyers who are looking in that area if you have a budget of about two hundred to three hundred thousand novi probably isn't your jam if you would like to see the most expensive neighborhoods in the city of novi I actually made a video all about it you can check it out here when you're done with this video next up is the cost of living now this one is also a con it's not just the homes that are more expensive in Novi, it's everything. It's just more expensive to live there. It'll cost you more to live in Novi than the average city in Michigan, and more ex it's more expensive than the average city in the United States. Is it worth it? Worth it. Totally worth it. I think so. Well, I don't know. Back in 2008, Novi was actually ranked the 48th best place to live in the United States by Money Magazine and it actually made the list again in 2018, coming all the way up to number 23. And if there's a publication that knows a little bit about uh, money and managing it, it's Money Magazine. Move to Nova, it's a smart move. Next up is the shopping. Now this gets a huge pro. A big thumbs up, two thumbs up. If you love to shop, you're going to love Nova. I know my wife loves Nova. When she's on the hunt for something, she goes to Nova. 
Novi has 12 Oaks Mall, which is like a destination mall with over 180 stores packed into it. That place is not going anywhere anytime soon. So it's not like a dying mall like you see on the news. This one's alive and thriving. As if the mall wasn't enough, right across the street you have stores like DSW, Nordstrom Rack, Old Navy, Kohl's. Everybody loves Kohl's, right? Probably. Everybody. And Novi is also dangerously close to multiple Costco's and Targets. And we all know what it's like when you go to Target. You like go there for like one thing, you leave with like 10 other things that you didn't know you needed, but you do need it. That's why it's there. Now they have Starbucks in, in Target. Oh man, it's like you never want to leave. If you can't find it in Novi, it probably does not exist. Next up are the things to do in Novi. Now this gets a huge pro because there's a lot of stuff to do in Novi. No matter what season it is, you will be able to find some stuff to do. This is Michigan. I've talked about Michigan weather all the time and they have a lot of good indoor and outdoor activities that you can go to with your kids or alone or whatever. Whatever you wanna do, Novi has something for you. They have things like indoor skydiving, indoor putt-putt, Indoor go-karts, I mean, they've got it all. Also has one of the biggest, baddest movie theaters around. You can get drinks while you're there at the Imagine Theaters in Novi. It's amazing. Probably my favorite movie theater in Michigan is Imagine. I mean, if, if you're around, check them out. And then when it's nice, there's over 15 parks that you can go and adventure through. There's even a park on the beach of Wald Lake. Wald Lake is located in the city of Novi, half in, in Novi, half in the city of Wald Lake, but you can't have a boat, like you can't bring your own boat. The invitation said BYOB. You have to actually live on the lake. So if you wanna buy a house on the lake, let me know, I'm your guy. All right, next up we have the schools in Nova, and this, I'm gonna say is a con, but probably not for the reasons you're thinking. If you're moving to Nova, you have to pay attention to the school zoning. It's a big deal here. The reason is you have four different school districts in the city of Nova. You have Nova School District, Northville Schools, Wald Lake Schools, and South Lyon Schools. And those four different school districts are going to affect your home pricing in major ways. So if you see a house and it looks like it's too good to be true with the pricing, it may not be in the Novi School District. I'm not saying any one of them are bad, I'm just saying that if you're moving here specifically for the schools of Novi, you have to pay attention to the zoning of the home you're buying. So what do you think? Do you still want to make Novi your home? If so, let me know. I would love to help. And if you're still hunting for a place to live in Metro Detroit, Michigan, check out some of these other videos and playlists around here, and I'll see you there.